Hi, this is Sir Majesty Easy World, the home of easy understanding of science. Here we will carry out brown ring tests, one of the tests used to confirm the presence of nitrate 5 ion. It is sensitive to any compound containing NO3. We need ion 2 sulfate, any triazonitrate 5 compound, concentrated and dilute H2SO4. Dissolve about 1 gram of the unknown sample in about 3 cm cube of distilled water. Then prepare a fresh solution of ion 2 sulfate by dissolving still about 1 gram of the sulfate in 3 cm cube of water and shake well to dissolve. Then acidify the test solution with little dilute H2SO4 and place the test tube in a slanting position. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Hi, it's uh, Jeremiah here. I just want to say uh, go ahead and subscribe to Majesty's YouTube channel if you are interested in covalent bonds, theoretical chemical reactions, and uh, you know, things that chemistry has to offer thank you sir jeremiah welcome back then you add the ion 2 surface to acidified test solution and allow to mix well freshly prepared ion 2 surface is used to prevent the oxidation of the ion 2 surface to ion 3 surface which is not suitable the best is ion 2 surface which is a reducing agent Carefully pour a stream of concentrated tetraoxosulfate acid down the side of the test tube held in slanting position. If the unknown compound is a trioxonitrate 5, a brown ring appears at the junction of the acid and the aqueous layer. That's the brown ring at the junction. This is a kind of redox reaction where ion 2 is the reducing agent and nitrate 5 is the oxidizing agent. Ion 2 reduces nitrate 5 and itself oxidizes to ion 3 with the formation of a nitrosonium complex which forms the brown ring. The student confirms that this reaction is exothermic and she shouted hot. On gently holding the test tube in upright position, the two layers become clearer and the ring becomes more visible. If you don't add the conk H2SO4 gently down the side of the test tube, the brown ring formed will disappear or will be colored brown all over and eventually disappear again. So you must carefully pour it down the side, not open into the solution, unless you get a wrong result like this you are seeing. And it's better to hold the test tube in a slant position. Stay subscribed for more videos. Thank you.